Hi everyone, this is a review of some new Yankee Candle Holiday 2020 wax melts. Um, there are a couple of new scents in the uh, the six cube um, packaging, but I think that Yankee will be doing away with the six cube packages, which are these, and will be going with the wax melt singles instead, which are these. And I hope they don't do that because the six uh, six cube packaging is I pre I prefer that. Uh, and these are actually from the Yankee store. I did not find them at Walmart or or they might be available at maybe Meyer stores. I I don't know. So these new wax melt singles are point come on point eight ounces. And they cost two dollars and they're meant for one-time use although you can cut them in two so here's one that I've opened you can cut them in two but they crumble they get really messy and there's no way to really save the other half since the top of the packaging peels off so here I just peeled part of it off I left some of it on so I could identify which scent it was and you can see here's the half um, it's really meant to just, again, you could cut it in half with a knife, but it does get kind of crumbly when you do that. And the problem is once you've opened it, once you've peeled it all open, you can't reseal it. I mean, unless you use tape around it, but there's still going to be some holes. And you've got this hole in the middle, of course, that you would have to tape over anyway. And we really don't know how porous this top is. And if any of the scent is going to kind of dissipate through the peel off top. So since this is really meant for one-time use, $2 for one-time use is pretty much equivalent to $12 for a regular 2.5 ounce wax melt. So if you use one cube in a regular 12, a regular 2.5 ounce wax melt, that's like, that's one, that's one melt. And this is, well, this was on sale, but but these are usually like around $2. These are $2 the size at Walmart. And that's for six uses. So this being that it's one use for $2 times six is 12. So needless to say, we'll never purchase these wax melt singles. These were actually uh, sent to me by a friend. Um, I mean, if they were on sale for half price, possibly, but that would be equivalent to to six dollars and yeah, I don't even buy Scentsy for that much it's just too much and especially considering you're just getting you're really just getting one use out of it again you can cut them in two but then you can't store the other half so um yeah I guess time will tell how well these sell <laughs> I, I just rhymed uh so I don't know um is Yankee just being greedy uh I don't know I guess like I said I guess we'll see if uh, they if these are popular. So, if you've never seen my reviews before, I don't look at the scent notes until after I've done the review because I don't want to be swayed by what I think the scents should smell like. So, I will start with the first one, which is Alpine Mint. And these are, uh, yeah, yeah, so you can see one-time use. Obviously, I didn't melt this particular one. Description on the Yankee website is a creamy celebration of fresh mint, dark chocolate, almond, and sweet vanilla. Notes are top notes of creme de menthe and cool spearmint and Irish cream, middle notes of spiced rum and dark chocolate syrup, and base notes of vanilla bean and almond extract. On cold sniff, this super yummy scent smells like a peppermint patty with icy peppermint, sweet milky vanilla, and a hint of rich chocolate, but it's more minty with the addition of a bit of spearmint. When melted, however, the mintiness dissipates and it becomes more of a milky whipped cream scent with a chocolate note and a hint of mint. It actually smells great. The throw was medium, like a three out of five. For, would be better for a small to medium sized room. Next is autumn leaves the description is 
a vibrant medley of birch and maple leaves with pomegranate, juniper berry, and orange blossom. Top notes of pomegranate, orange blossom, and white pine needles. Middle notes of blackberry, juniper berry, and rosemary. And base notes of birch leaf, red maple leaf, and dried persimmon tree leaves. This scent definitely smells like fall. It's wood and pine with a barely detectable smidgen of a fruit that I think might be cranberry. It has a tiny bit of a sour note, but it's still a great scent. I think it's similar to Better Homes and Gardens crisp fall leaves. Looking at the notes, I don't detect orange blossom or any sweet or floral notes at all. And the throw is strong, like a 3.5 out of 5. Next is Cafe Al Fresco. Description is the warm air of a bustling outdoor cafe kissed with sweet notes of cinnamon, coffee, and a dash of caramel. Top notes of cinnamon sprinkle and coffee, middle notes of cappuccino and frothy milk, and base notes of crystallized sugar and caramel drizzle. This smells like rich, milky, mocha-flavored whipped cream. That's all I can say. It's a super yummy scent. I mean, really, like, so good and just, like, so milky. Just a fantastic scent. Throw is very strong, four out of five. I might actually, I don't know. I, I might actually pay to buy this one because it's it's that good. So yeah, that's a super a nice strong throw, four out of five. That's definitely a winner. Next is Christmas Eve. Description is traditional holiday scents of a warm hearth, hearth, sugared plums and candied fruits. Top notes of orange, almond, lime, and lemon. Middle notes of red berry, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Base notes of violet, amber, creamy, praline, and vanilla. This is a happy scent that smells like a combination of maris maraschino cherry, cranberry, and orange with a hint of ginger ale without the fizziness and a smidgen of vanilla as it has a little bit of a candied note, although it's not overly sweet. Looking at the notes, the ginger ale note is probably the lime, although I don't smell lemon or lime per se. Almond and cinnamon, possibly a smidgen, but only because I know they're there. The description doesn't really match the notes, as a warm hearth makes me think of a smoky note, which this does not have, and there's no plum notes in this scent. It's a really nice scent. The throw is very strong, four out of five. So we have Christmas morning punch, and all these fruity scents do tend to smell a bit the same. Description is a spectacular blend of ruby red pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry, a celebratory drink the whole family will love. Top notes of pomegranate, cassis, and bergamot, middle notes of strawberry and cranberry, and base notes of sugar and vanilla. This smells like cranberries with another fruit, maybe strawberry or pomegranate. It's sweet with a fair amount of tartness, and it smells quite nice. Throw is strong, 3.5 out of 5. Next is Cider House. Uh, description is the ultimate autumn harvest treat. Fresh pressed apples, lightly spiced and ready to sip. Top notes of Fuji apple and golden honey. Middle notes of cinnamon bark and clove and nutmeg. Base notes of clove bud, cedar wood, and vanilla. This smells incredible. It's like apple crumble a la mode, although it's much sweeter with a powdered sugar note it's not actually apple pie. It doesn't have like as much of the bakery notes. What differentiates this from other similar scents is that I can actually smell sweet, rich, milky vanilla ice cream and or whipped cream. It's unbelievably yummy. Looking at the notes, the extra sweetness is the honey, but I'm not sure I detect honey per se, and I'm surprised I don't see more ice creamy type notes, like milky vanilla type notes, because that's, that's definitely what I'm smelling. And the throw is th strong, 3.5 out of 5. Next we have Happy Morning. Description is, Awaken to the delight of Christmas morning with a cheerful fragrance, bursting with bright berries, evergreens, and a touch of caramel. Top notes of caramel, raspberry, and blueberry. Middle notes of blackberry and caramel. And base notes of pine needle and cedarwood. This smells like cranberry soda with a tiny bit of an effervescent note. I think I also detect a smidgen of pine way in the background. It's sweet with a fair amount of tartness, and the fizzy note gives it a tiny bit of bitterness. It's kind of nice. It does smell, like I said, it's similar to the Christmas morning punch and the 
Christmas Eve and it's just like different, you know, the cranberry type soda type Christmassy scents. Nothing really differentiates it all that much. It's not one of my favorites, but it is kind of nice. And the throw is very strong, four out of five. Next is Magical Frosted Forest. Description is an enchanted place where icy breezes playfully dance through tall snow-coated pines. Top notes of icy eucalyptus, straw frozen strawberry leaf, and raspberry ice. Middle notes of pine needles, balsam fir, crushed, crushed pineapple. Base notes of white cedar, tonka bean, and golden amber. This is a nice pine scent with subtle woodsy and black pepper notes. On cold sniff, there's also a smidgen of soapiness and just a barely detectable smidgen of sweetness way in the background, maybe something fruity. But I don't smell, I don't smell any sweet or fruity notes when melting. Looking at the notes, the fruit is strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple, although I don't actually detect those per se. Yeah, this scent is very strong. Uh, the throw is four out of five. So it is, uh, it's a very nice scent. <clears throat> Santa's Cookies. This one just, based on the name, I just expect this to be just another plain vanilla cookie scent and just another kind of a boring, generic, I have a lot of scents like this. But that's not the case at all. Description is a treat worthy of Santa's attention. Freshly baked, baked vanilla sugar cookies with a dash of spice. Top notes of vanilla cookie, middle notes of cardamom, cinnamon, and clove, and base notes of vanilla, sugar crystals, and cedarwood. This smells like molasses, maple, cloves, subtle cinnamon, vanilla, and butter, and I do smell the cardamom. And cardamom smells a little like a nutty, buttery version of cloves, but with a smidgen of fennel and herbal undertones. This scent is scrumptious. It's different from the Sant from Yankee's Santa Treats scent, which I've reviewed before. A totally different scent. That one is more of just a plain vanilla scent, vanilla cookies. This is insanely good. And I'm not usually a big fan of bakery scents, but this is really, really good. And the throw is bold. Five out of five took over the entire house. This is a must-have scent. And I need more. Last, we have Singing Carols. Description is a, a harmonious combination of fruit, evergreen, and spice notes that create an inspiring Christmas melody. Top notes of mandarin and eucalyptus, middle notes of fir, needle, juniper, and clove, and base notes of blackberry, cedarwood, and pine. It's a wonderful pine scent with a bit of a sweet, slightly tart, fruity note, which I assume is cranberry, but maybe also a hint of orange as well. It's primarily a pine scent, though. Looking at the notes, mandarin is orange. And the combination of blackberry and clove, even though I don't detect cloves per se, is probably what I think is cranberry. The pine is a little biting because of the eucalyptus, but I love this scent. Throw is very strong, four out of five. So there you have it. Uh, if you want to read a text version of this review, just go to waxmeltreviews.com and feel free to join our Facebook group where we discuss all different brands and scents of retail and store-bought wax melts. And you can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video and on our website at waxmeltreviews.com. Have a good day.